He may not be as well known as a certain fellow countryman, but Switzerland's Stanislav Varinka has been in or around the top ten since claiming his first ATP World Tour title four years ago. Much of his success is down to the contribution of his coach. They've been together since Varinka was just eight years old. It's very good for the moment. We are very happy. We work very good together. We know each other well, so it's good for my career. When we started, we just, I just wanted to help to make him play tennis. And then we realized when he was 14, 15, then he had a good uh, ability, I don't know if it's the right word, to, to become a good player. There's not much Dimitri doesn't know about Varinka's game. He developed much of it. And there are certain aspects of which he is particularly proud. He's very focused. He knows what he wants to do and he makes everything to make it happen. And he's a hard worker. Plus he's got uh, very good uh, physical, strong. He's got ability and he's got a great backhand. And it's that backhand which is now considered to be one of the best on the ATP World Tour. But when a player reaches this level of technical ability, what is there left for a coach to coach? The tennis part is still very important because in the end he plays tennis, so this is where you want to be the best. And um, yeah, there's so many things. You have the human person, uh, you, you have the game and you make sure the human can take good decisions. So it's a lot of talking and uh, outside the court and on the court as well. In my game, I try to be more aggressive, to come more often in the, in the net and to, to practice every, every point of my game. As his lifelong coach, Dimitri feels the stresses and strains of Varinka's career almost as much as the man on court. Well, I feel uh, when it's not going right. And uh, then it's, this is when you get to talk and see how things are and how he feels and what we got to change and uh, what I've got to change on my side and uh, always try to improve. I think it's for everybody the same. Varinka's countryman, Roger Federer, is widely regarded as the greatest tennis player in history. It means his achievements tend to be overshadowed back in their homeland. But the good outweighs the bad. Yeah, it's not a big problem, you know. I'm, we are, we have the best player in the world, and I won the gold medal with him. We play Davis Cup often. I practice a lot with him, so it's, I take the positive thing. They're friends and teammates, but beating Federer at the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters in 2009 was a major highlight. It was one of the best match of 2009, and I was very happy. I was playing very good, and uh, yeah, it was a top moment in my career. Having been a top 10 player, Varinka's target is simple, to battle his way back up the ATP rankings in 2010. For this year, I will try to come back in the top 15 and uh, to win me one other tournament. I won only one tournament in my career and my goal is to win another tournament this year and to be back in the top 15. I, I, improve, I try to practice a lot to improve my game and I hope I can be in the, in the top player at the end of the year. He's a nice guy. He's, uh, whenever we get a chance, we play doubles together. You know, uh, now he had a, he had a baby lately, so I'm happy for him. You know, he got married the last year, and uh, I mean, he's a great guy. And uh, tennis-wise, I think he can uh, he can reach top ten. That's for sure. He has the potential. The season climaxes with the 2010 Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. Is London calling for the other Swiss tennis star? It's the best tournament in the year to at the end of the year to be in the top eight. So. For sure, for all the players, it can be a dream. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we stay stateside as we bring you a special behind-the-scenes report from the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami. And we speak to Holland's Raymond Schleuter. Personal tragedy took him away from the game. Now he's fighting his way back into the top 50. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.